Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to Automated Build, Deploy, Test with Team Foundation Server 2015 and Selenium video series. And this video series is part of our ALM with Team Foundation Server video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about introduction. So in this introduction, we'll be talking about introduction to Team Foundation Server 2015, build, deploy and test process. And what is Team Foundation Server 2015? It's build system, deployment system, and test system, both in distributed as well as cloud. Well, note that in this video, we'll be just talking about the introduction of these systems, not as a whole practical way of doing it, but it's just an introduction. What is this build, deploy, and test all together? So you can use a build, deploy, test workflow on Team Foundation Server 2015 to deploy and test your application when you run a build. Actually, you can do this in your XAML build as well. But the introduction of your 2015 Team Foundation server has got something called vNext build or otherwise called as a workflow way of doing your build system where you can actually create your build definitions much easier in a web application of your Team Foundation server itself instead of doing that in your Visual Studio. And this lets you schedule and run the build deployment testing of your applications with one build process, which is much, much easier. And build deploy test workflow works with lab management to deploy your application to a lab environment and run test on them as a part of the build process. Well, here I'm saying lab management to deploy your application. So remember, there is a SEVMM set up in Microsoft Visual Studio Test Manager where you can have your test machines configured with your SEVMM or as a Hyper-V where you can also clean the application every time you run the test and the machine will be in a pretty new state. And once the test starts, it reimage the machines, it deploys the application as well as the test code in there and runs the test. It's kind of very very interesting if you work with a lab management but in this video series I really don't have such kind of hardware and power to do that. Rather I'm going to use Hyper-V version which is again much similar to what we can do with the lab management but here I will have my own setup. We will be doing much exactly like a lab management but here as I said, it's going to be just a Hyper-V, right? We'll talk about that later in upcoming videos. So this is another way of deploying your application in a remote machine. And this process of uh, deploying the application into a remote machine, testing the application and building the application, all are otherwise called as DevOps operations. And so uh, it will have a planning, it will have a continuous deliveries, a development and testing and analytics. Uh, both in development as well as in productions. So this image is actually taken from Microsoft website, so it is not something which I designed. Introduction to Team Foundation Server. Of course, I'm not going to really introduce the Team Foundation Server 2015 because in our executeautomation.com we have already discussed Team Foundation Server in QA and dev focused video series. So if you want, you can learn all of them from there. Similarly, Introduction to Team Foundation Server build system, which is nothing but the vNext build as well as the XAML build system. So if you ask me whether I'm going to tell that, of course not, because TFS 2015 build system is again a new playlist which I created where you can see how to work with Team Foundation Server build systems, how to set the environment ready for XAML builds and how to create the build definitions and how to install the agent pools, creating and executing build definitions with vNext build in TF Team Foundation Server 2015. So all these videos are already available in our Execute Automation channels of YouTube. So you can go ahead and watch that. And then Team Foundation Server build deployment is also done in one of the video of the build system. But here we'll be discussing a little more elaborate because that's where our Selenium automation kicks in because we need to run our automated test in that remote machine. So we'll actually use that. So TFS build deployment can be done with hosted pool as well as hosted build controller. So this hosted pool is otherwise called as the vNext build definition where you will have a agent and this agent can be configured with any of the managed pools and 
whichever agent is available the managed pool will automatically take take that and run the test but whereas in XAML build there is something called as a agent and controller model available where it is otherwise called as the hosted build controller and there you should have a definite agent and controller setup so meaning if you're going to run three builds all together then you should have three build agents and one controller right so that's again we discussed in our team foundation server build system so you can actually go ahead in the youtube channel of execute automation to learn more about it right so this is the build deployment using team foundation server and tfs test what is this which is very very interesting and exciting in team foundation server 2015 because it actually supports a lot of testing frameworks like gradle and unit xunit.net, Node.js, Maven, JUnit, and Selenium, which is pretty exciting. And we will actually do a lot of steps with this. So this diagram actually shows you that you can do test planning, you can do automated testing, manual testing, and exploratory testings in that. And also, you can do acceptance, load, and automated testing. At the same time, you can send the feedback as a report. And this 2015 of Team Foundation server has brought a new cloud testing which is nothing but a cloud load testing which is pretty interesting and exciting we'll also talk about that this is what team foundation server 2015 defines for testing part as a continuous delivery right and these are the steps which we'll be discussing about in this video series right so i think you guys have excited about it so thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day